Six tips to lower the risk of urinary infections when they on leave us alone. A plan that includes food, drinks, home remedies and routines to change the life of those with urinary tract infections. Let's go! The fruits of these plants have a natural antioxidant with no side effect on us that prevents Escherichia coli from adhering to the bladder. This bacteria is responsible for 85% of urinary tract infections. Cranberry are the best known and most potent of all, but lingonberries and blueberries are cousins and share the same antioxidant. In addiction, all the plants of this family have a rutosid, a natural disinfectant of the urinary tract. In short, cranberries, lingonberries and blueberries in fruit or trees can help to prevent urinary tract infections. Drinking water is extremely important for the bladder hygiene. I said water, not soft drinks and commercial juices. This can even be harmful. There is not much scientific support for the use of alkaline water, but we know that it is more diuretic and alkalinizing agents generally potentiate the antimicrobial agents of the urinary tract, such as the antibacterial agents of cranberries. I do not recommend drinking hyperalkaline water, but only slightly alkaline water. Infusions are usually diuretics and alkalinizers. Drinking infusions of burberry leaves or heather leaves is even better because they belong to the heath family, so they have a rutosid, the natural antiseptic of the urinary tract. But the most important thing is to drink, whether it is water or these infusions. Vegetables and fruit have demonos, a natural substance that taken in supplements helps to prevent urinary tract infections. But other vegetables in our diet can help also to prevent bacterial growth. For example, garlic has a natural sulfur compound that prevents urinary tract infections. Sugar is also very important and because sugar tend to increase any kind of infections, it's better to keep it under control in lower doses. How many women with a recurrent urinary tract infection also have chronic constipation? Constipation is a sign of poor intestinal health, therefore possible intestinal bacterial imbalance which can compromise the function of the mucous membranes, which are our body barriers. In short, when the intestine works poorly, we may be at risk of infection in other mucous membranes, such as the bladder. This was confirmed in a study published in 2022. So, support your health gut with prebiotic and probiotic foods. Don't spend too much time under great stress. Have weekly solutions to decrease it, like practicing sport and meditation. There is a link between urinary tract infections and stress. Urinary infections are not always the fault of bacteria. Surely all of us have bacteria living in us that can cause infections, but they aren't doing that. It's not always the germ's fault, sometimes it's the terrain. Everything I've said so far helps to strengthen the terrain, which is our body, but thoughts and emotions can also affect us, and sometimes very quickly. It's not always possible to avoid conflicts, but we can have strategies and use tools to clean our mind, to avoid accumulating stress, overthinking, ruminate, to not weaken our body and reap the consequences of it. Take daily intimate hygiene care. From daily cleaning to washing and, very important, urinate after sexual intercourse to prevent partner bacteria from rising through the urinary tract. Sitting bath with cider vinegar 
helps a lot to prevent future infections. To make a sitz bath, mix two tablespoons of cider vinegar in three liters of lukewarm water in a bidet or basin and sit for a few minutes in the water. Hygiene is also urinate whenever you feel like it, avoiding having urine in the bladder too long. If you like this video, I invite you now to watch my video about natural solutions in urinary tract infections, where I talk about natural remedies to avoid the abuse of antibiotics and also my video about the influence of our mind and emotions in urinary tract infections, where I talk about why stress and what kind of stress and emotions can contribute to urinary tract infections. And that's all for today. I hope I've been useful. See you in the next video.